Patrick that's Brennan that's and I'm playing yeah, Joe. And where have we seen you before? Um, I, uh, some movies. I've done uh, uh, some movies, uh, television, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and uh, Sneaky Pete. And I just did um, Perry Mason and I did a movie on uh, Netflix, uh, Marilyn Monroe movie. Oh, yeah. It's coming out on Netflix. Um, I think uh, a lot of people probably would know me from Twilight. Uh, the Twilight. Would you play Twilight? I was Leo, the the, uh, the the leader, the Irish, uh, the leader of the Irish coven. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I love the Twilight movies. Oh yeah. I do. Um, who do you play in this play? Joe. And who is Joe? Joe is the little brother, who's a bit of a, a bit of a wild man. A bit of a, uh, he's a he's a he's a boxer. At least he thinks so in his mind. A club boxer who's, who's uh, in a great deal of pain. <laughs> and, but he's uh, um, funny and loving and mad and uh, self-hating and everything everything I am. Fun things Joe's to me. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like audiences to take away from your performance in this play? That that we're all uh, broken on some level and we're all um, in pain on some level but there is a chance to heal um, and that we can't heal no matter how broken we are. I'm William Francis Hoffman and I'm here because I wrote a play called Drift. What's Drift about? Oh my god, <laughs> so many things, but really the core of it is this, it's about this family that, that was fractured and is trying to make themselves whole again. What do you expect audiences to take away from your play? Depends. I think it depends on who you identify with in the play. It depends on who you're following. But at the core, um, you know, that, that healing is possible in, in spite of, you know, uh, in spite of tremendous circumstances that, that make things difficult, that, that, you know, finding a way uh, to come together in extraordinary circumstances is possible, uh, that love is possible. Now, is this your first play? No. Uh, my first play uh, was done in New York City in 2016 uh, uh, by Colt Core and Rattlestick. It's called Cal and Camel. That was my first production. So. And what else have you had uh, Those two. Those two. So Cal and Camel in 2016 uh, was my first uh, New York production and this is my second. Richard Henry and I play Father Gravato in Drift. And who is Father? He is a priest that the, our lead character meets at the top of the show. He acts as, in the writing, he acts as kind of a Greek chorus. He introduces us to the world of the play and our lead character into the world of the play. And uh, uh, he's kind of like the last, last person to be really nice to our lead character. <laughs> and uh, from then on, it gets involved in some serious family drama about an immigrant family struggling in America to make their way in the world of construction in Chicago in 1957. It's a, it's the kind of play that sort of parallels uh, the, the drama that you see in something like A Nice Man Cometh or A Death of a Salesman. It, it goes there. It has these incredibly long, wonderfully written monologues that really hold, you know, and, uh, and it's also a great cast. I've been able to watch them do their stuff and uh, they're pretty spectacular. And where have we seen you before? Uh, you have seen me last uh, in a new John Leguizamo musical called Kiss My Aztec, which was at uh, 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 La Jolla and uh, um, I can't think of the other theater. <laughs> we played La Jolla. We, oh, we started at Berkeley Rep, okay. and then and then we played La Jolla. Uh, and uh, I guess in New York City uh, or in the, around the New York City area, I did Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame, which we did at Paper Mill. Uh, yeah, um, and that was another beautiful musical. Uh, and then and then here in the city, well, I was doing Kiss My Aztec for six months, so that's where I've been for the last six months. Was, uh, and what would you like? audiences to take away from your character? Oh. Well, I think that uh, in this particular piece, I, there's been a stigma with priests and the press and all this, and we don't, uh, we're not de dealing with any of that here, because this guy is actually a decent human being. He's actually a good guy. And